hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by today for another tutorial i welcome all my new subscribers and my old subscribers you are all welcome and i appreciate everyone today's tutorial is going to be on how to make this exaggerated uh, trendy sleeve and uh, this is a requested video so without wasting time we let's get into the tutorial Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, demonstrate how to make it on a pattern paper. So let's assume that this is your fabric. You're going to cut out your fabric and then you fold it into two like this. So once you fold it into two, make sure that you have enough uh, weight and length because we're going to gather the middle, the top, and also insert elastic as on the hem, okay? So now, once you fold your fa uh, your fabric into two, you are going to um, measure the length. You determine the length that you're working with, okay? So make the length to be as uh, tall as uh, possible so that when you put the elastic, it will come back to the normal size. Okay, so now I'm going to mark out the, um, the cap height. So mine is a uh, four inches. I mark it out and I extended it uh, just like I'm showing you here. After you mark out the cap height, the next thing is to uh, measure the length of your sleeve. I'm measuring it again. Then I'm going to fold my tape into two so that I can get the midpoint of the sleeve. So I mark it out right there. And I'm going to use my ruler and extend the lines. So this is where I am going to gather the second uh, garter. As if you look on the um, if you look on the thumbnail picture, you see that the middle was gathered. Okay, so I'm just going to label my um, elbow length, elbow line. I'm sorry, and then my cap height. That's just what I marked right there. Okay. okay so once you measure that out uh, that's basically it i'm just going to use the my hip curve and uh, make a curve like so so this sleeve is very easy to make so once you you create that curve you go ahead and cut it out again when you're cutting yours on your fabric you make sure that um, you use uh, you you make your weight to be very full because by the time you gather it and put the elastic everything will come back to normal all right so once you finish cutting um my, uh, cutting that out go ahead and extend the elbow line to the other side of the sleeve just like i'm showing you here all right so once you mark it out so that's what it looks like and remember like i said we are going to be gathering that mid uh, line and then we will insert elastic on the hem okay so this is my fabric <clears throat> that i've already cut out i've already cut out the sleeve so the width that i am working with is 30 inches in width and the length is at uh, 26 inches. So this is uh, all the fabric that I have. So this is the sleeve, I cut it out. I have 30 inches in width when you open it up and then when you close it is 15 inches and the length is at uh, 26 inches. Okay, so now I am going to measure the length of my sleeve again like i said is 26 inches then i'm going to fold my tape into two to get the midpoint all right or you can just measure your from your shoulder to your elbow to get the midpoint it's totally up to you but i like doing it this way so once i get the midpoint i'm going to use my ruler and extend that line okay and then i'm going to open up my sleeve and then i'll extend the line to the other side as well
okay so now once i do that the first thing that i'm going to do is to um come on each side of the sleeve i will mark out one inch i'll mark out one inch on this side and one inch on the other side so that's where i am going to i'm going to use those one inch to close up the side of the sleeve so i'm going to do that first so because i want to create the elastic for uh, i'm sorry the elastic casing so i'm just going to pin it and just sew a little bit of that um on this side i'm not going to sew all the way up the reason why you do it that way is so that by the time you start to, um uh, making your gathering stitch you will still be able to open it up okay so that's what i'm going to do and then after that after i create the elastic casing i will gather the mid uh, the middle where i marked uh, the line and then i'll gather the sleeve cap as well okay so now i've closed up at uh, the side and then i created the elastic uh, casing as you can see here okay and then i've also gone ahead and made the gathering stitch in the middle remember the line that i marked earlier i followed that line and i created the um uh, gathering i also uh, gathered the cap um, head okay now i am going to measure around my elbow where the where i want to put the elastic so i have 11 inches but i'll be subtracting two inches and make it nine inches so that it can be snug when i put it on okay so i cut out nine inch um, nine inches elastic and I'm using half well quarter inch uh, elastic uh, for this uh, tutorial okay so once I do that I am going to go ahead and pull use um, pull the thread to gather the to gather the stitches until I have nine inches so I'll gather it all the way until I have nine inches it has to be exact same size size as the um, elastic that i cut out remember i cut out nine inches okay so when you measure your elbow whatever you get minus two inches or one and a half inches and cut out the elastic okay so after i finish gathering it now i'm going to measure to see if i have enough okay so i have nine inches as you can see so you gather it up to same size as the elastic so once i i made sure that i have nine inches i'm going to pin down the elastic after the one inch mark on the side remember the one inch mark i marked on the side i pin down the elastic after that one inch so now what i'm going to do i will take it to the sewing machine and then i will sew it down on top of the gathers until i get to the other end all right so one as you're sewing the uh, elastic make sure you're pulling it continue to sew until you get to the other side okay again so you just place it on the gathering stitches that you made and the sew it down pull it while pulling it okay now this is the elastic after i finish attaching it to my um sleeve okay and now the next thing i'm going to do is uh close up the sides using the one inch seam allowance i left so i am going to go ahead and uh, stitch it on the side and then after that i will pull the gathers on the sleeve head to attach it to my uh, blouse all right so now this is how the sleeve is looking at like after i have um, closed up the side so now i am going to attach it to my blouse so what you're going to do is uh, uh, match the side seams uh, together 
in order to attach the sleeve. So I made um, I made a corset. I made a corset with a basque waistline. So I have a tutorial on how to draft this uh, corset on my channel. And I'll put the link in the description box uh, below. Okay, so you're going to use the the thread and pull the gathers together on the sleeve head. So I'm going to gather the sleeve head just like I'm showing you here. So you just keep on gathering it. So once I, um, you go to attach it to the sleeve, you continue to gather until it matches uh, the your armhole round. Okay, so now I'm going to just um, match it. Okay, so I'm going to tuck in the uh, sleeve into the um, armhole. And then I am going to match the side seam together. The side seam of the, um, of the sleeve and the side seam of the blouse together. Okay, so match the side seams uh, together, just like I'm showing you here. Then I'm going to go ahead and pin it all around. And I'll also be gathering, um, I'll be gathering the sleeve as I'm going. As I'm pinning it around, I'm going to be gathering it as I'm going. So I'm going to pin it down. Okay. So just keep pinning it all around and then once that is done, I am going to insert my elastic on the hem. All right, so now I finish attaching the sleeve to the blouse. The next thing I now is to measure my, um, my sleeve round. So I'm going to measure my sleeve round and I have nine inches. However, I am I want mine to be snug, so I'm going to be my nursing two inches again from the um, measurement, and that leaves me with seven inches. So I'm going to cut out seven inches um, for my elastic. Okay, so I'm going to cut out the seven inches. Okay, so that's. Uh, how much I have to insert. Now I'm going to use my safety pin and attach it to one end, then close it up. And then I will insert the elastic through the opening that I left when I made the um, elastic a casing. So I'm just going to attach the elastic all around. So now when you are attaching your elastic please use a, another pin you can use a safety pin or any pin and just hold it down so that it doesn't shift when you are attaching um when you are pulling it through all right so this is what it looks like this is the blouse after i finish attaching the sleeves as you can see it came out very nice i'm going to put this on the mannequin so you guys can see what it looks like and if you have watched um, this far, please uh, do subscribe and share my videos because sharing is caring, okay? Okay, so this is how the blouse looks like. And this is what it looks like on the mannequin. As you can see, it came out very beautifully. Okay, so this is not my size. I would have tried it on for you guys to see the beauty of this. Uh, so this is the end of the tutorial. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Please uh, share, like, comment, and let me know um, if you have any style that you guys want me to do. And I'll be happy to do it. Thank you. And um, I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.